It's that time of year again. We students are back in school, working on projects, writing papers, and with exams just around the corner. Nothing is more relatable than stress. I am stressed. You are stressed. We all are in some way. And it's actually okay to be stressed. In fact, stress is our response to changes in our environment, giving us a signal to adapt to the changes in our lives. Our bodies release hormones that prepare us to deal with these changes, or in some situations, run away from the problem. As university students, it is important for us to realize that we are here to learn and grow. And with that comes various challenges. And no challenge comes without stress. We can define stress as a positive or negative element to our mental health. But if we recognize stress as a positive and adaptive signal to our mental health, stress can be used to our benefit, promoting growth, success, and prosperity. How stress affects our mental health, excluding extreme or special circumstances, is generally within our power. Identifying the cause of the stress and adapting to it in a healthy and effective manner will not only improve our mental state, but also give you a new sense of appreciation of your body's stress response. In addition, every time we are presented with a daily stressor and are forced to adapt to it, our mental state is fortified and ready to adapt to potential stressors. Having said that, while some stress can be beneficial for our growth and success, when we have too much stress for an extended period of time without allowing ourselves time to recharge, that is when stress begins to take a toll on our overall health. Recharging is a healthy action and encourages sustainability of our crazy busy student lives. Listening to music, chatting with people you care about, disconnecting from social media. These are just some of the ways that you can recharge in a healthy manner, guilt-free. You need to be accountable for your health and forgive yourself if you feel you are not performing to your best ability due to multiple stressful events going on in your life. As much as our bodies like and require social interaction, we may also need some time to ourselves to focus and reestablish a clear mindset. This doesn't have to be sending yourself to solitary confinement. You can spend time with friends. You could go outside to spend time in nature. Or you could do something creative, such as going to a painting class. The most important part is to do anything that helps ground you and prepare you for your goals. As we mentioned earlier, most everyday stress is normal and is a signal to adapt to something in our lives. It helps us get through obstacles in our lives, but it can be unhealthy when we have too much over a long period and neglect the basics. Sleep, nutrition, exercise, and connecting with others. Adapting to stress leads to a more and more resilient mind and improved coping skills. Everyone's stressors and reactions to stress are very different. It may take some time to learn what works for you, but keep trying and try not to stress about it. So, what is stressing you or are you stressing about today? What would you do differently to combat your stress? This project was made possible by UBC's Social Impact Lab and its partners. For more details, check the video description.